I always wanted to be a firefighter when I was started off as a young kid. You know what I mean? I like the noises, I like the horns, I like the sirens. I just wanted to help somebody. I mean, just something different. <laughs> I didn't want to be a cop, you know what I mean? I just I wanted to become a, a firefighter. Oh, I seen my dad do it, and I seen all the uh, people that appreciated it. Uh, you know, told him how good a job he was doing, and I uh, wanted to follow my dad's footsteps. For my 16th birthday, my brother gave me an application as a joke because there weren't any girls in the fire department, and I proved him wrong. I showed him that a girl could do it just as well as a guy. It's something that I've always wanted to do. It's an adrenaline rush. It makes you feel good about yourself. It's just it's a neat job to do. About several years back, there was a fatal accident on Folly 40 in Manhattan, and I was one of the ones sitting there blaming all the emergency workers why they didn't get here fast enough why, why, that they're not doing anything at all. So one day, there was another call, ambulance call, down southern, and I was sitting here saying, wow, they're taking forever, they're taking forever. And the police officer told me, well, if we're taking so much forever, then fill out an application and do it yourself. So I finally did that. And as much as me making a difference as not just saying it, then I'm actually doing it now. And I don't gotta worry about complaining about it. My mom was one at one time. She left there for her own reasons, and I've always been interested in it, so that's how I got into it. Well, I'm actually an Eagle Scout, so after I got done with my Eagle Scout in 97, it's like I really didn't do any volunteering, and I got my friend kind of got me back started volunteering. He was with the fire department, so I kind of said, hey, let me get in. So give me the application and whatnot I was in. But I, I love volunteering. I love helping out the community. It's like one of the things, like, is this being an Eagle Scout, it's like our main thing with scouts is do a good turn daily. And so like another way I'm helping the community out is by joining the fire department. I remember uh, when I used to go to my aunt and uncle's house, my uncle was a volunteer firefighter. And just uh, seeing him running out of the house and uh, seeing him getting on the fire truck and going and going and putting out fires or going and getting on the ambulance helping people. I just remember at a young age seeing him doing that, thinking that that was something that I'd probably want to get involved in. I just got married. My husband was involved in the fire company, and it was just something that I was interested in. Uh, you know, seeing him kind of admired what he did, so I thought, well, I could like to try that out sometime. So um, I, just, I got hooked. I you know, just love helping people. When I was 12, uh, and I was still living in Oldman's Township, we had a tornado cut through the municipality. It missed our house by maybe 100, uh, 200 yards maybe. Um, and everything went dark. My uncle comes over in the middle of the night. What happened? He goes, well, a huge tornado just cut through town. And he goes, I said, you know, I want to see what's going on. And my mom said, no, you can't go. I said, well, I'm going to be with my uncle. It's like, I'm not like I'm going to drive or anything. My uncle's going, yeah, let him come with me. We'll, we'll go around. Absolutely not. And at that point, I'm like, I, when I get of age, I want to be able to go to this stuff, and I don't want to be said no. <laughs> and, you know, and as soon as I turned 18, that's kind of what I did. I wanted to become a firefighter, and I wanted to get involved, and I wanted to see what was going on. Probably had to go back to the uh, late 1800s, 19, the company was originated in 1903. So uh, my great-grandfather was in the company when that started, and followed by my grandfather, followed by my father, followed by myself, and I also now have two sons that are following me. My grandmom's house caught on fire in Bridgeton a few years ago. So my mom was trapped in there, and then my grandmom got out, my uncle was trapped, but they all got out. And I wasn't around to do anything or to help and then all that stuff and vice versa. And I was like, I need to do something here. And then after that, I just like, went right in, just got the ball rolling and went right on gone. I was approached a couple years ago by one of my fellow uh, firefighters here uh, if I would like to uh, join the fire service because I had recently retired and they said they really needed a lot of help especially around the daytime hours. So I gave it some thought and I also had prior fire training when I was with the sailing group. So. I said, well, they had an open house, and I decided to come down. And I reviewed the equipment, you know, and seen some old friends and met some new ones, and I said, well, maybe I can do this. I 
having people, you know, look at you and acknowledge you and say thanks for everything that you do. And that just, that's the biggest thing. I think the benefits are all the training that I got, um, the different guys that I got to know in the fire company, um, the people in the community that you get to know. Um, and it just makes you feel like you're, you're, you're giving back to the, the town that you live in. And when, when you get to help out a neighbor, whether it's a fire or uh, you have to take somebody to the hospital, it just feels like you're doing something good for your town. It's, it's fun. Everything we do, every situation is something different. You learn something different each day. Of course, you got to do your training. Some of it's boring, but most of the time it's fun. It's interesting to meet a different, whole, different, group, of fam different group of guys. Instead of your friends, you got a whole different, you got like a family behind you. Yeah, I, I've always enjoyed, um, you know, helping out the community. And that's, you know, a big thing for me, whether it's my neighbor, whether I know him or not. Um, and, I, and I enjoy the level of excitement. Um, it's made me a better person and you know I like that in the municipality like and even wherever I go if I say you know I'm a volunteer firefighter in EMT people go oh wow that's really cool they like that and it's kind of like a nice little personal satisfaction gratification sort of thing yeah. knowledge and what to do at home and we're driving down the road if the vehicle catches fire or if something happens at home where I could helps the situation before it gets worse. Being a volunteer, you always have the training and knowledge or whatever. You can take this training just about anywhere. Pretty much a self-gratification of doing a good job. Um, sometimes when we get go to calls and we do help people and rescues and stuff like that, we will get thank you letters and uh, people will come out and thank us. and. There's nothing better than getting a thank you for the job that you've done. Getting a thank you from people that you've pulled out or rescued off the river or whatnot. There's nothing better than a thank you. I, I really enjoy helping other people and, and, and when they're in need, and if I can help them out in any way, that's basically what it's all about. Uh, when you get all trained and you get up to snuff and ready to go and, and the whistle's blowing, and you can get there and save somebody's home or save somebody's life uh, at, a, at a MVA or something like that. That's basically what it's all about to me. At 9-11, we sent uh, approximately eight people to uh, New York City, uh, two ambulances and a suburban a utility. Uh, when Katrina hit Louisiana, we uh, took four guys to work for FEMA and went down to assist all the Louisiana people. Uh, and then we ended up in Florida during Wilma, uh, down around Okeechobee and Daytona, assisting people after the hurricane relief, so. Well, we've, we had a fire call here in town once and uh, we had some little kids upstairs that were playing. Um, once we got the fire call and went up there and we put the fire out and everything, it was all good, but I mean, thing could have happened I mean, everybody got okay, it was good, everybody lived that day. We had some gentlemen that were out on a sailboat and they were stuck. I remember they became disoriented and uh, the waves were pretty high. We went out to help them, um, pulled them off the boat and when I reached my hands out to grab one of the men off, he hugged me and he grabbed a hold of me and he said, I don't want to let go. And then later he said, he looked at me, he was kind of like, you're a girl? and. Uh, you know, he was, he was just amazed that he kind of, you know, was a macho type guy and felt a little bit, I think, inferior at that point. So uh, it sticks in my mind as something that, you know, I made a difference to that man in that time and probably changed his thinking on things for, you know, for a little bit. Someone's house is catching fire and you and your fellow firefighters go in there and stop that fire before it does any major damage. and ruins, you know, part of their life. And you keep it down to a minimal. And, you know, as you're coming out there thanking you, that's when you know you're doing something good. I think it was 90 or 91, uh, we had a small house fire in Salem, and there was two people trapped, a, a little girl and a dad. And I went through the window, and one fireman found the dad, picked the dad up, and I grabbed him and took him out the window, and there was still a little girl in the bedroom. Well, the dad had fallen on the little girl, 
and the smoke was so bad the other firefighter didn't see the little girl. But once the smoke started to clear, I could see the little girl laying on the floor. I picked her up right away, took her out the window, and both survived. So that was that was pretty pretty neat. If someone is going to volunteer, they need to be committed and have the dedication because there is uh, schooling and training that they have to go through and it has to be ongoing. It's not just a one-shot deal. It's something that goes on and on. If you like serving the community, whatever, and want to learn something new and exciting and got an adrenaline rush, this is, this is a, something great to do, something great. If you got the time, and we have the time to train you and help you out and get you through everything, it's just something good to do for the community once again. If you have any interest at all in helping people, uh, the fire department or any emergency services uh, is a, a great way to get your feet wet and see if, if that's really for you or not. Uh, some people it is, some people it isn't. Uh, that's a good way, to, like I say, just to find out how you can help people and, or, and, and, and do that. Um, it's definitely something that's rewarding. It's a lot of hard work and it requires a lot of dedication. You can learn a, some valuable lessons in being involved in this. It's some experience that you could never gain doing anything else um, that you're able to do. Uh, I would tell them to definitely try it. You know, there's nothing that can be lost by trying it out. If it's not for you, then you try it. But if they're thinking about it, try it out. You gotta like, you know, a certain level of excitement because you know it's there's a lot of fun. And there's you know, and there's not to say that you know every call is something you see on television you get a lot of alarm systems and stuff but you know it's uh, there's a lot of fun stuff and it's truly like a brotherhood and not to say brothers as in guys only but it's a very tight-knit group and uh, you do a lot of stuff together it's it's kind of like your own kind of fraternity in your neighborhood if you will uh, and, and it's really nice and, and enjoying and wanting to like help other people out you know if you like helping other people it's really cool thing. Right?